Good evening boys and girls, mums and dads, and any other family members who may be watching this evening. You're all very welcome to our virtual carol service this year, something that's very different to our school. You are in for a real treat this evening because your show is absolutely brilliant and you will get a great deal of enjoyment and I'm sure your mums and dads will be extremely proud whenever they see you perform this evening. COVID-19 has been very difficult and very challenging for all of us this year and that's why we are having to virtually present our carol service. But there's light at the end of every tunnel and the vaccine is on the horizon so please God in the new year in January the vaccine will start to be rolled out and our school can go back to some kind of normal life over the next few months. I want to thank all of the staff in the school for the tremendous work that they have done over the past number of months in ensuring that our school, which is one of a very few number of schools, has remained open and that no classes have had to shut down during this time. I'm very proud of that fact that we have been able to do that. So I want to thank all our uh, uh, classroom assistants, all our cleaning staff and all our teachers for the tremendous work that they have undertaken uh, in the unbelievable work they've done and trying to ensure that the school stayed open. I want to thank you, our parents as well, because obviously this has been a very, very difficult time for you as well. We've had over 40 children who have either had to stay at home uh, to self-isolate or have been sent for tests. And that has been very difficult whenever I've had to make a call uh, for, for children to come and be collected. So I want to thank you for your patience and your understanding and your selflessness in making sure that we kept our school open for all of our children and that no children would be adversely affected in their education. I suppose our spirit of Christmas is what we, is what we don't want to lose during this COVID-19 pandemic. And the important thing for us was that the, the notion of giving wouldn't be lost and the true Christmas message wouldn't be lost at this time. And thankfully, as ever, the, the people of Madden never they uh, failed to, 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 to uh, surprise me in this respect, in that our school, again this year, the amount of work that our parents did and our children did in ensuring that some children somewhere in the world were going to open a shoebox this year and they would get a delightful surprise when they opened it, as I did when I opened some of the shoeboxes before they went off. Some children are in for a real treat. Other people who will be getting the Christmas hampers have expressed their thanks already to Lorraine for the um, hampers that they've, they've received and it's made a difference already to some people. So I just want to thank you for that generosity as ever. So I hope you're all sitting back very comfortably. I hope you've got your glass of mulled wine in your hand or your, your chocolate drink or your, or your soft drink or whatever. And I know that you're going to be very proud when you watch this performance tonight. And I want to thank you again for everything that you've done for the school this year and to wish everyone a very, very happy Christmas and to wish everyone a happier 2021. Enjoy the show, everyone. Hello and welcome to our Christmas carol service. Our primary one children will begin proceedings by performing a short nativity. In the days of Herod, King of Judea, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. But Mary was troubled at this word and pondered the manner of greeting. And the angel said, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found grace with God. You shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he shall be king over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word. Now it came to the pass in those days that there went forth a decree from Caesar Augustus 
that a census of the whole world should be taken. This first census took place while Cyrenus was governor of Syria and all went to be registered, each to his own city. And Joseph also went to Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was the family of David, to register together with Mary, his wife, who was with child. And so it was... That while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them at the inn. And there were in the same country, shepherds abiding in their field, keeping watch over their flock by night, under the light of the heavenly stars that shone so bright in the cold night, and lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. The angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day, in the city of David, a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord, and this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in the swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was, with the angel, a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will towards men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even into Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, there came Magi from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newly born King of Jews? For you have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly. And entering the house, they found the child with Mary his mother. And falling down, they worshipped him. And opening their gifts, they offered him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Christmas have a special meaning. 
seeds for the child born on Christmas Day. He just want to have what a baby left. All is for rejoicing at Jesus' birth. I is for the end that Jesus came to us. S is for shepherds on the star. T is for the travellers who came from afar. M is for Mary, our mother mild. A is for the angel who watched over the child. S is for the stable where Jesus was born. Tell everyone that he is born. Please enjoy our P3 performance of The Virgin Mary Had a Baby Boy.
first our paper class was singing the carol, Do You Hear What I Hear? Yeah. 
pass when I sing the traditional carol in the stillness of the night. Include our carol service, P6 and 7, will sing unto us a child is born and silent night.
all the peoples and all the staff at St. Joseph's, I'd like to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.